uh, something I do, and I never prepare the guests on the show uh, for this question because um, I always like to kind of, you know, see see their reaction to it. But basically, I'd love to get from both of you, you know, a crazy thought or a crazy idea that like you believe to be true um, that, you know, when you say it kind of just sounds ridiculous. Um, so to give you kind of like some context, you know, this, the one that I keep going back to is that, you know, in 50 years, the only way to get AI to do anything is by giving it Bitcoin. Right, that that's going to be the money that they're going to accept. And if you want, you know, your AI overlord to do anything for you, it's in Bitcoin. And you know, thank you very much. You know, so it's it's a bit of a wacky idea, but it's you know, that's the kind of uh, concept that we're going for. So, uh, whoever wants to take a crack at it first, I will uh, I'll let you go. Don't be shy. And uh, yeah, you can share 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 with us what you guys got. So uh, the one thing that I believe that will be true is that all the big museums will own. Um, NFTs and will display NFTs. And I have a couple of bets on this, but I, I can totally tell you and I can totally see the time wherein you enter, well, like Met or the Louvre and then a big, big percent of their of their artworks are actually NFTs. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good take. You know, I was smiling because this question, I've been using it in, in job interviews oh, since <laughs> like... <laughs> that's awesome. I don't know since since how long since like 2015 I think okay. when it started my you know, company because okay, so we you have you have uh, so I hope you have a good answer. I I don't know if I have a good answer because I I don't know you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we wanted to hire always people who are either very contrarian or you know people who don't mind speaking like saying things. You know that that people it was slightly different. It's like. Something that you deeply believe in and that you wouldn't say in front of strangers because it's either too crazy or it's yeah. too unacceptable yeah. Or, yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or things like that. In my case, I believe that I, I think we're going to get really bored uh, in, in, in a few years uh, as humans because um, at the end of the day, I, I, I'm a big believer in AI, in AI. I've done a startup in AI in the past and I do think that you know, we have a limited set of capabilities um, and you can superpower them how much you want. But at the end of the day, the more you superpower them externally, the less um, what we have is relevant to that. And the bigger proportion you have of that external superpower, be it AI, be it Excel, be it whatever, you know, depending on, on what, when, uh, when you're looking at, at this issue, right? So I think we're going to get very bored because a lot of people are just not going to have jobs, right? And and um and and it's it's gonna be an I, I think we are close to a civil war uh in some senses um because you know i don't know if this is still true when when i was doing ai the most like the job in the u.s that had the most people employed yeah. was um I, I don't i'm mixing maybe up number one and number three but one of them was um a driver like be it people driver or or like car driver, driver etc and the the other one was cashier right and you know those are two jobs that are going to be out of business right and if governments were doing something you know to prepare people for that then no worries right yeah. but you know forget about all the other jobs that are going to be out of business if you just take those two that's enough people that are not going to have income and governments, they don't have more money to spend and they can't take on more debt. Like the debt scene has been increased already again. Like, you know, debt is just, it's going to explode at some time. And at some time, you know, people are just going to starve, I, I think. Because, you know, all this whole Ponzi, you know, is, is going to explode at some point. And, um, and, and that's one of the main reasons why I got into crypto. Um, and, and that's something I, I deeply believe in, that we're, we're looking at the enemy outside of our own countries when the enemy is is kind of this Ponzi system that we've that we've uh, created. 